Uh, welcome back all of you to the next session on the Fusion Inventory Implementation Nana here and then uh, we are proceeding on the setups of uh, movement request in uh, Fusion actually. So let us go there and then do it now. And then as I told you uh, in the beginning what happens is that you have <clears throat> What happens? We have a allocate, and then what happens? The transact more orders in EBIS now. Fine. That is now replaced by create pick release and confirm pick release. Fine. So when you go for the automatic more orders, here what happens? It is now having confirm pick, uh, create pick release, confirm pick release. Fine. Here also what happens? Now same thing. So they have synchronized everything. Fine. It is now only create pick release and confirm pick release, pick confirm picks as far as both uh, your EBIS as well as the fusion is concerned. Uh, and then and in the fusion, what happens? It is only create pick release and confirm pick release for both manual and automatic. Actually. So we are going to go and then uh, see the uh, movement request. Now I go there. So we already what happens? I created a document. We'll now go and then make a check of it. Now I go there. So I have got one more sub inventory created. Now I go there. So the first sub inventory does not go. Then have a look at it now. <clears throat> so let's go first of all go and then have a look at it now. Thanks, Mo. Go there. It's P01 underscore EMP11 now. And go there. It's Oracle123. Okay, click on it and then here, whatever they go there. And then we will now go to the manage setup and maintenance and then go to the manage sub and locate as well. <coughs> It's manage percentage, sub percentage, loca percentage. And then go there and then have a look at it now. Click on it now. So we are going to open it up. So manage sub and locate as the one. We are opening it up. <clears throat> so it's uh, what I'm as a P011. Is the org. I go there. Click on OK. So for this test, what happens is we have created one Dyna2 also. Fine. Already we have a Dyna1. Fine. It's actually a Dyna1. And then let us not write to edit the name as it's not fine as a Dyna1. Yes, possible. Not fine. Go there. Here it's possible, but name cannot be done. Fine. Nine out one. Fine. I'm making. Fine. It's even close. Now. The name cannot be modified. Description can be at least modified. Now. Fine. So Dana one. In Dana one, if you go and then have a look at this. Fine. Click on the manage locators. We have two locators now. Fine. Go there. Two hundred. So we are going to use this two hundred. Fine. Go there. Two hundred. So what we have done is in this place. What happens if you go and then have a look at it? Now. Fine. So for two, what happens? I give a locator order of one, and then for twenty two, a locator order of two. Fine. Go now go and check it now. I go there for two. Click on edit now, and you can see the locator order of one. The picking order is one now here. Fine, go there. And then in 22, what happens? The picking order has been made as two. <coughs> the picking order has been made as two. Fine, this is not done. And then afterwards, what happens? And the Dyna 2, what happens? The 33 and 44, I'm not giving any locator orders. And then what happens? I'm not giving only sub inventory order now. Fine, go there. It's a simulated test actually. Fine, only for certain things, I am not testing it actually. Fine. So here, what happens in sub inventory? What happens? We have an order of one. This Dyna one is now having a what happens? A order of one, and the Dyna two will be having an order of two. We'll now go there. See, fine. Go there. Click on done, and then come out of it now. And then let us now edit the sub inventory. Fine. Dyna one. Let me edit it now. Fine. I will now click on edit, and then go there and see it now. Fine. Here you can see the picking order is one now. Fine. Both the locators. Fine. Cancel. And then for Dyna two, what happens? If you go and then see, and then click on edit now. It will be having a pick order of two. Now. Got it now, fine. So the setups are now fully made. Fine, go there. Now let us now go there and then create the item. You want to get the item. And then we'll now perform these four zips actually. Fine. These four zips I'm going to perform it now. Go there. So let us now create the MR test item over here now and go there. So we'll now click on done and then come out of it now. And then go there. And then what happens? You go to the what's called product management and then product information management, which what happens? We are now going to get the item now. I'll click on the product management and then go to the product information management. So we are now creating the item now. Here, what is the meaning of pick order? We are mentioning I mean, that the I need to tell that I meant to tell about that. I'll be telling so now. I meant to tell about it. I click on it and then here what happens? I go to the create it up. So let me create the item. <clears throat> so it's a, a P010 is the master in which what happens? We're not creating it now. I'll go there. <clears throat> Welcome, Siddha. <clears throat> Good morning, sir. You have to stand up on the bench. You are now late by 10 minutes. <laughs> sir, network issue, sir. You do one thing. You put the yes, network sir. issue, what happens? You start to log in from 6.45 onwards. So that what happens. Sure, sir. <laughs> Tomorrow I will try that option, sir. It's your correct. 
correct sir it's perfectly correct there is order you have one your uh, sea cleaner right try to clean all these things because of some cookies what happens your system will not be allowing you to do this i have given you one sea cleaner so run the sea cleaner once what happens then it will be going fast sir sir every day after this is my ran that uh, sea cleaner sir god you are running it then also you are getting the problem i don't know <laughs> yes sir i'd be in my system I have some issues sir you are correct sir okay sir i will okay fine yeah so click on okay by which what happens now creating a master data bank i'm not applying that place click on okay and then here what happens there is a mr test movement request test actually fine go there it's a p01 mr underscore test fine it is a movement request test right movement request test right i'm going to find go there i go there and then here what happens what i'm going to do is i'm not going to enable it for lot control and then that is the only thing fine. here in the, in the ebiz what happens we are tested for revision and lot here what happens we are going to test it for lot sub inventory and locator because revision is not working here so revision is having a bug since uh, nobody has raised the issue what happens oracle is not attending it if anybody raises the issue what happens it will be attended now so we are going to test for three of the four entities actually the lot the what happens your sub inventory and locator we are going to be getting tested now so let me create, let me make the item as a lot counter item and go there after having done this what happens i go there i go to the specifications and then i go to the inventory and then i am going to make it as a lot counter go there i go to the inventory and then here what happens i am going to make it as a lot counter and go there so lot control is a full control since revision is not working i am not i am not enabling it and serial control cannot be used for what happens picking actually serial is not a part of picking so that is a middle management concept and so what happens serial control is not used at all <laughs> for picking For picking is not there, so lot control is a full control. I go there. I will now go to the associations, and then here what happens? I am going to associate it. So click on actions, and then let me add it. Now I am going to select an ad, and then I am adding it now. The child org, I am going to add it. I go there. P zero one one, and then enter it now. I will now add it. Okay. Select it, and then click on apply, and done. By which what happens? No added. We go there. So it is now enabled for lot control. I will again show you the place. What happens? The specifications on the inventory. What happens? The lot control. Lot control is a full control. So once in the full control, what happens? The prefix and start numbers are required. I will not say lot underscore. What happens? Some hundred because it is a mandatory field. So otherwise, what happens? We will not throw an error actually. I go there. Even though we are going to pick up the lots only from what? From your what happens? Your top area. Fine. The, from the org parameters actually. Fine. Normally, lot number generations of org org parameters. Fine. Go there. So click on save and close by which what happens? P zero one MR underscore test is now ready. Fine. Go there. Save and close. The item is now created and then assigned to the child org also. <coughs> Now what I am going to do? I will now make a receipt of it. Now fine, go there. So let me make a receipt of it. Now fine, go there. So let us now have this receipt. Now fine. So we will now go and then make a first receipt. Now fine, this is the first receipt. There are four receipts I am going to make. Now fine, the first receipt is of this this number this this characteristic. Now fine, go there. So let us now go there. Now receipt. You go there. You click on the home icon and then go to the warehouse management. And then go to the inventory now. Fine, go to the warehouse warehouse operations. Then go to the inventory now. You click on the inventory. Warehouse operations inventory, and then here what happens? I am not going to make a miscellaneous receipt. No. So click on the icon, and then here what happens? You go there, click on the create miscellaneous transaction. <coughs> Type is MI, and then give a tab now. MI, I am giving a tab. Fine, this is a miscellaneous receipt. Fine, click on OK now. And then account is ten, and then I for hundred and ten thousand. Fine, go there, and then click on plus now. <coughs> and then I am going to put the item. So item is what P zero one MR P zero one MR. And then give a tab. Item will be coming automatically. If I go there, so here what I will do, we are now going to use it on dynamic one. Now. If I go there, it will not drop down. Then choose the dynamic one. Now. If I go there, so it is the dyna one is the one. If I go there, this is the one. P zero one dynamic is the one. And then here the locator is what it is going to be two 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 and then hundred quantities. Now. Fine. So sub inventory is there. The locator is there. Go there. Go there. So I will now go to the view details and then populate it. Now. If I go there. You it is, and then only when you what happens the locator you put it what happens then only the transaction quantity will be coming now. Fine, locator is what two iPhone two iPhone two, and then give a tab now. The quantity transaction quantity will be coming and go there. I will not give the transaction quantity is what for two two two. It is hundred quantities, <laughs> and then I have to give the lot also fine go there. So if you give hundred quantities, and then afterwards if you pop it the lot the quantity will vanish. Now. Fine, I'm going to pop it the lot manually. Fine, go there. So it's what it's a it's a J50. Now I'm going to make it as a P01. Now fine, go there. Now it's P01. So P01 underscore lot 103. Fine, go there. P01 underscore lot 103 is a lot. So the moment I put it and then click on this, what happens? And the quantity will go away. So only after you populate the locator and lot, what happens? You have to give the transaction quantity. Fine, go there. Here, go there. So the quantity has to be entered last after you populate the locator and lot. Fine, go there. So. What happens? We now put lot as well as what happens. Locator has been populated, and then it is on dyno one, and then hundred quantities. Fine, go there. So it's all done now. Fine, go there. 
and then, and then, what happens there? Uh, whatever the dynamic one, fine, go there. So everything is set properly, fine, go there, and then click on commit and then save it. So click on OK and then submit. The first transaction is now getting committed. I click on submit. So the first transaction is now committed. So the transaction passes with no issues. Now you go there. We will now go for the next transaction. We are to make four such receipts now. I click on create receipt. This is receipt now. We are going to create the second receipt now. I go there. <coughs> so it's a what EMI and then give it a and then we'll not use the miscellaneous zip over here now. I go there. And then account number is one. <coughs> and then put the number over here now. I click on plus now. And then I will now populate the item over here now. I go there. P01 EMR. <coughs> one, give it a tap. And then the sub inventory, what? It's the same sub inventory. Find the second one also is the same sub inventory. Find drop it down and then choose the same sub inventory. Find is the dyno one. <coughs> and then go to the view details. And then the sub inventory is populated. Find locator is what? The second transaction will be on 22, 22, 22. Find go there. It's 22. Iphone 22, iPhone 22. Fine, give it up. What else? And then the lot number, I'm going to give it now. Fine, go there. Lot number is what? 103 again. Fine, the same lot number. Fine, go there. It's what? P01 underscore lot 103. And go there. And then click on the quantity as 100 now. Fine. The second transaction is complete. If I'm making any mistake, please tell me now. Fine. So sub inventory, locator, and then lot. Everything is as per plan actually. If I make a mistake, please tell me. Otherwise, what happens? It will not work at all. Fine, go there. So it is 103 dynamic 1. <coughs> And then 100, fine, go there. So, okay. Dynamic one, there's a 22, click on OK now. So, the second transaction is now getting completed. Fine, click on submit, by which what happened? The second transaction is now completed. So, it's not that. We go for the third transaction. We had to make four transactions on this now. Fine, go there. Click on miscellaneous transaction now. So, here, EMI. And then give it a tap. <coughs> miscellaneous reserve. Fine, go there. Click on OK now. So account is one. And then go there. And then here, what happens? They go and then click on plus now. So, here, I will not put the item fine P01 MR and give it a tap. <coughs> so this time the third transaction is what on dynamic two now. Fine on dynamic two, fine go the dana two. We have to choose now. Choose the dana two sub inventory. And then click on the view details now. Go there and then here what happened? The locator I'm going to populate is what 33 33 33. Fine, there is a locator and that lot is 104 now. So locator is 33 iPhone, 33 iPhone, 33. The lot, fine, give it a tap. The lot will be coming now. Go there. Lot is P01 underscore lot 104. Fine, go there. P01 underscore lot 104. Fine, go there. And then go for 100. It's 100. 104 is the one. So it's on a 33, 33, 33. And then P01 dynamic 2. Fine, go there. Everything is okay. Lot 102, dynamic 2, 33. So 33, lot 104. And then dynamic 2. Okay, fine, good. So the third transaction is now set, and then what happens? You're going to submit it now. Fine, go there, click on submit. So by which it will be getting submitted now. So it's also processing the transaction process, no issues. Now fine, go there, click on it, and then we'll now make the final transaction. Okay, now fine, go there, click on create and then another thing. We'll now make the final transaction. So go there, EMI, and then give it a tap. <coughs> it's a miscellaneous result. Now fine, go there, click on OK. We'll now populate the account over here. Now fine, go there, one, <coughs> and then click on plus now. Here it's P01 MR. And then give a tap. Sub inventory. What happens is Dana 2 only. And go there. I'm not going to put the Dana 2 over here now. And go there. Click on the view details. And then here, what I'm going to do is uh, not populate the remaining one. Here, what happens? The locator is 44. And then it is 103 is a lot now. Fine, go there. Locator is 44 now. Fine. 44 iPhone, 44 iPhone, 44. And then the lot is. I give a tap now. The lot will come now. And go there. It's P01 underscore lot 103 now. That is what is so go there. P01, sorry. P01 underscore lot 103. Fine, go there. So it's 103. Fine, go there. It's 44, 44, 44. And then 100 quantities. Any mistakes? Fine, go there. So it's all correct. Okay, fine. So as per the plan, we are doing it now. 103, Dana 2, 44. 10, <coughs> 103 is a lot. Fine, go there. 100, 44. Go there. Click on. Okay, fine. Click on submit. Now it's all done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to create a picking rule now. So here what happens, I'm going to use three such factors out of four now because revision is not working. The lot, sub inventory and locator. Fine. This is the first one for the sort criteria. This is the second one for the sort criteria. This is the third one for sort criteria. So let me go on then. What happens, I create the picking rule now. So let me make, create the picking rule. Go there. Click on done. I will now go there and then let us now create the picking rule. Now. So click on setup and maintenance and then I'm going to get the picking rule now. <clears throat> it's almost similar to what we have in Ebus now. In Ebus also what happens if you go and then see this now. Uh, if you go and then have a look at the picking rule now. So we will now switch responsibility to inventory. 
So inventory question operations, you'll say, fine, you're all going to go there. You go to setup and then go to rules and then go to picking now. Fine. That is the navigation fine. Go there, the picking rule. So once we enable it, what happens? The partial allowed is always on. And then what happens? The single lot allocation, these two, the, we are going to test it in our case. Now, right? We have got four such criteria. So we are also going to use the same thing. Since revision is not working, what happens? A lot sub and locator, I'm going to make it test. And revision is not working here now. So what happens? You know, test it for this now. So I'll not go there, then wait, no, I'll go there. <coughs> so I will not go there. It's manage picking rules. Manage percentage. P A C K <coughs> and then rule. So manage picking rule is the one. I click on it now. <coughs> and then here what happens? I'm not going to create it now. I click on rule. So uh, I have uh, more many rules are available here now. I go there. So let me delete these rules now. I go there. Click on delete. <coughs> or you need not have to delete, and we'll leave it as such now. It doesn't matter. Fine. We'll leave it as such now. I will not click on what happens a plus. Let me create my rule. My rule is what? P101 underscore pick underscore rule. I'm not doing a rule. I'm going to take a copy of it. <clears throat> and I'm going to the description. Now, what happens? I will now go there. And then if you have a shelf life control, what happens? That can also be used as a restriction here. Here also, what happens? We have this now. Fine. Shelf life days is a restriction. So we normally don't do it. If you want to use it, you can even use it as a restriction. Okay. Now, there are four priorities for picking here also. What happens? We have the four priorities. So, the first one, what I'm going to do is what I'll not use as per the plan. Now. Lot, sub inventory, and locator are not revision. And lot, sub inventory. So, lot will be ascending for me. I, go there. I will not go to the priority. I will not make the lot as an ascending. Lot as an ascending. And then priority two. What happens? You know, saying sub inventory as ascending and locator also ascending. I go there. So priority two is what? Sub inventory as ascending. Sub inventory as ascending. And the priority three is what? Locator as ascending. <coughs> So I'm not using this. I'm go there. Here, what happens? I will now say allow partial picking. Fine. Normally, here, what happens in this place when you go there, the allow partial picking is always enabled. Here, what happens? We have to manually enable. Right? It is normally what happens. That is a custom practice to do. Right? And then here, what happens? I have to. What happens? I have to assign it actually. Right? First of all, what happens? I have to make it as active. So what happens? I will now save and close without making it as active. Right? Any doubts on this page on the picking rule? Right? I will now compare it. The info single lot will be coming debit later. Any doubts on this? No point. So the four priorities I'm not saying lot ascending, sub inventory ascending, and located ascending as per the plan actually. As per the plan. Ascending, ascending, ascending. So click on save and close. I've done it. Now what happens? I have to go to the assignments and then assign it. I go there. So P01 picking rule is ready. So click on the manage assignments. Here also what happens? We have this no point. Go there. After you do it, what happens? You go to the assignment area and then assign it. Go there. This is what if you go and then have a look at it now, fine. Go there. Query. Fine. Here what happens? No, say P01 percentage. Let me go right now. Fine. Here. So P01 percentage, then let me go right now. So if you click on the assignment, what happens? We can assign it to multiple criteria of this now. We can assign it to multiple criteria as a customer, item, item category, etc. etc. There are so many criteria that I will be here. Go there, we can assign it. And remember, this assignment will be enabled only when what happens? This is active or enabled. <laughs> if it is not enabled, what happens? We cannot assign it at all. Here also the same thing. I go there. We cannot do it now. I go there. So this is not done, but it is not an active now. Active is not enabled now. I go there. So if you go there, go to the manage assignments. <laughs> Here, what happens? It is not editable at all. Fine, go there. The manage assignment is not coming. So, first of all, I will know how to make it enabled now. Fine, go there. Uh, manage assignments, manage picking rule assignments. We click on plus now. Now, see, I'm not going to do it now. Fine, go there. So, here, I will not put the organization over here now. Fine, it is a P011 and then give it a tap. So, sequence, I will now say one now. Fine, go to the mandatory one now. Fine, go to the picking rule. So, picking rule is what? P01 and then I will now give it a tap. Pick rule, I'm putting it now. Fine, go there. I will not assign for other criteria, but only for the item. We can do plenty of things on this. Fine, go there. Item I'm going to put now. It's P01 MR, and then give a tab now. Item will be coming. <coughs> the item. So for the item, I'm assigning it. Fine, go there. So here, what happens if you want to make it as active? It is not possible. Fine, you have save and close. What happens? Not showing you because what happens? The rule itself is not active. So if the rule is not active, what happens? We cannot make it as active at all. Fine, go there. Active is not possible. If I click on save and close now. Fine, save and close. So we had to make the rule as active first of all. Fine, go there. It is not done. I click on done and then come out of it now. Fine. We already made this now. Fine. Go there. So we will now make the rule active. Fine. Select the rule and then click on edit now. You have to make it as active. So once when you make it as active, what happens? You can now see your tick mark will be coming over here now. Fine. It is active actually. Fine. Go there. In the P01, what happens? The active tick mark will be coming. Fine. Select it now. Fine. Go to that. What happens? Edit and then let me make it as active. So I am now making it active. Fine. Go there. And then click on save and close. Now what happens? The assignments can be made active. So I will not in this place, I will not click on the manage assignments. And then we already made the assignment. Fine, go there and then edit it now. Fine, go there, edit it. Now I can make it as active. So I make it as active. Once I make it as active, the remaining are not editable actually. Fine, go there. Once I make it as active, it's not being fine. Click on active now. So once I make it, nothing is editable over here. 
Fine, that's fine. Save and close. The picking rule is now created. We are now going to make a test by creating a what happens a movement request, which is nothing but a move order there. Any doubts on this now? Now it's active as well as what happens partial picking is allowed actually. <clears throat> So now what happens, I'll now go there, I will now click on plus and then I will now open up one more thing and then let me create a movement request for this one. I am going to make a movement request for this one. I go there. So here you click on this and then what happens, you go to the product management. You go to the product, you go to the what's called warehouse operations then go to the inventory now. So I go to the warehouse operations inventory and then here what happens, we are now going to make a movement request. Movement request is nothing but a move order now. So move orders can be created by what happens, a manual or automatic. In the automatic, there are three move orders are there. One is a pick wave move order. One is a material pick motor, and then one is a what happens a replenishment motor. So in this training, we'll be seeing the replenishment motor actually, and then uh, the pick wave. What happens? Uh, we cannot do, but what happens? The transfer orders will be using the pick wave. So we'll be showing the transfer orders also for you, and then uh, what happens? The material pick is uh, basically from manufacturing and material. Editing. So pick wave is coming from two ways basically, as far as fusion is concerned. One from sales orders, and then one from transfer orders. The transfer orders are equivalent to what happens your IR ISO. So it's coming from one of them basically. Fine. We'll be testing all those. Only except the sales order, what happens? We'll be testing everything. Your sales order, I meant to learn actually. Fine. So here, what happens? Let me create the movement request now. Fine. I'm going to make a manual movement request now. Fine. Manual movement request. Fine. Go there. Let us now go on the create. <clears throat> so click on it, and then here, what happens? Let us now create the movement request. Now. You go there. Click on manage movement request. Now. So manage movement request. The navigation of fine on the task carousel. Click on the manage movement request, and then let me create a movement request. Now. I'm manually waiting in fact, one plus now. So here I'm going to wait now. Fine, go there. He gives a number. What happens? You can even override the number. Fine. The system automatically gives a number. In emails also, what happens? It gives a number now. We'll now override it. I'll now say P01 underscore 1. I'll go there. I'll now put the same thing in the description also. P01 underscore 1. Fine, paste it now. Fine, you know what happens? The transaction type. There are two types of transaction types. Other one is the issue and the transfer. I'll now come to the issue a bit later now. Fine, you'll now begin with the transfer. Now. Issue and transfer are there. I'll now make a transfer later. And then source sub inventory always leave it blank. Fine. Let the system design. Fine. That is the power of picking actually. Fine. From which sub inventory you have to do it. What happens? You leave it as a Fine. Leave it blank. And then here, destination sub inventory, I will now put it now. Fine. Go there. So I have one, what happens? One non controlled sub inventory, like what happens is sub one. Fine. I will now put one. Destination sub inventory is what? P001 sub one. This is not a locator controller or not. Nothing. Fine. No, no, no such controls there. I am not using it. Go there. Click on plus now. Fine. Go there. I will now click on the plus. <coughs> Is a moment and then put the item over here. Fine. P01 MR and then give a tap. Item is coming. Fine, go there. So you will now request a quantity of what as per the plan. I will now request a quantity of let us say 60 quantities for the first transaction. We have already completed all the four transactions. I am now creating my first moment request for 60 quantities. Fine, go there. 60 quantities. This is for 60 quantities. Fine, go there, give a tap. And that's it. What happens? You are now going to submit for approval. So the moment you submit for approval, it will now become a pre-approved move order now. Or moment request because what happened the approval process is it to come over here. Right? Even if you set up what happens, it will not work at all. So it is under enhancement and then it will be coming soon. Even in release 13, also it does not come. So at any point, what happens even on the 18D release on release 13, what happens it is not at come. So it will be coming very soon. That's what I said. So click on submit P01 underscore one will be submitted for approval. It will now go to the pre-approved status. It is for 60 quantities. So the destination submitted is now that source is not mentioned. The source is the power of allocation actually. Right? Click on submit now. So you can now see P01 is now submitted for approval. And then here what happens if you query on the item, fine, on the main moment request form, what happens if you query on the item now, fine, P01 MR, and then give a tap. And if you query for it now, give a tap, it is now coming, fine. Click on search now. It will now show you this as a pre-approved what happens moment request. Okay, now what I'm going to do is as per the plan, I will now go there and then do the pick release now. In eBuzz, it is known as a allocate order. Now, what happens? I'm not going to what? Do the pick release. Fine. So, we are not going to make a pick release. So, we'll now release it. Now. Fine. We are going to release it actually. So, we'll go there and then do it. So, we'll go there and then we'll now do the pick release for this. Fine. Go there. So, let me open up one more tab region in which what happens? I'll be running a concurrent now. <clears throat> go there. Click on this one and then here what happens? We go there and then go to the scheduled process now. Fine. Click on more and then go to the scheduled process now. So go to the schedule process and then we will now run a concurrent now for releasing it actually. So click on schedule new process and then here what happens the, con the concurrent name is what? It is a print move. Fine, print and then move. And then give it a print moment request pick clip report. So the pick slip report is going to be printed. Print moment request pick clip report is the concurrent name. Fine, click on OK now. So we go there, go inside now. 
in this place what happens i am going to first of all choose the org as well as what happens you are seeing fine go there org is what it is p011 and then go there it's a p01 and then if you give a tap what happens it will not show you what is the one is not automatically populated the remaining are not required fine go there the from is more than sufficient fine and i think what happens if you don't give it it is not working actually fine you always preferably give the from also fine. from the pop and then go down in the bottom what happens you will be having a release one now fine release the approved lines fine this is basically equivalent to what you are what happens a great big release fine you are going to release it now fine go there so in this bottom what happens you are going to make a release now fine go there is yes so this is the way what happens we have to release the approved lines fine go there release the approved lines yes now fine go there so we will now submit this concurrent Click on submit now. Fine, it's now going to release it now. It is basically a location. Fine, it is basically a location. And then what happens? You now release the approved lines. You know, running it now. Fine, go there. So once when it is completed, what happens? You know, have a look at it now. Go there. We will now go there. We will now open up one more tab again. And then here, what happens? We can now see that. Yeah. Sir, will system allow this? Will system allow this means what? I am running it now. Sir, because the status is pre-approved. Yeah. See. Move order process has got four processes. One is what creation, what is approval, what is allocation, and then one is the transaction. This is the third process of everything. Allocation will be done because it's only pre-approved now. The second status is already completed now. Sir, what I think once it will be finally approved, then system will allow. So that's why. Pre-approved is nothing but a finally approved only. Okay, okay. okay. Pre-approved means what? It is finally approved only. <laughs> Right. You go there in this place. What happens? You go there and then see the move order process now. Fine. So move order has got four processes actually. Fine. It's what creation and approval, and then afterwards what happens? Allocation and transaction. The pre-approved is equivalent to approved only. Fine. Even in EBS also we have the for the requisitions and all we have a pre-approved status now. Fine. Go there. So we have a pre-approved status, and then that will be equivalent to what? Uh, uh, what happens? Uh, uh, almost like approved only. Fine. It is now here. It is approved only. Fine. Go there. Don't worry about it. Got it, sir. Thank you. So click on it, and then here what happens? You're going to have a look at it now. Fine, go there. We'll now have a look at it. Now. Fine, go there. Go down, and then in the bottom, what happens? We'll now publish the report, and then have a look at it now. Fine, go there. So output, we are going to publish it now. So the output what happens? Click on republish. We are republishing it. Fine, go there. Click on this home icon, and then go to export as a PDF now. Export as a PDF. Doing it now. Fine, go there. Click on OK. So we which what happens? Now getting saved now. <clears throat> so not fine. Go there. Have a look at it now. Fine. The moment request pre report is now coming. Fine. Go there. And then we'll now see this now. Fine. If we go and then have a look at it now. Fine. Go there. It will be having lots of information. The first one now. Fine. This is a P011. So in the second line, what happens? It will not show you. The second page, what happens? It will not show you. So it has allocated 222. Fine. On the sub inventory, what happens? 60 quantities has got allocated. Fine. It is an open pick actually. Fine. Moment request is there. Fine. The item. And then the pick status is got. The pick status is open actually. We will now analyze about how it has allocated 222 now. You know, see how it is allocated to them. I know that the lot number is one zero three, one zero three two two two. It is allocated. We will not see about how it is allocated. I know that, and then we will not have a look at it. So, since what happens, a lot is ascending. Fine. Tell me which lot it will not choose. There are two lots are there, one not three and one not four. So the criteria is ascending. So which lot it will not choose? Out of four transactions, how many transactions will not become eligible for allocation? One, two, three, four. How many are eligible for allocation? Anybody? No, only one. No. If the lot is ascending, how many transactions are eligible for allocation now? Two, four. Huh? One, two, four. One, two, four is hundred percent correct. Who is this now? Mohan, sir. Mohan, Mohan is very correct. One, two, four are correct if lot is ascending. Are you clear on this now? Fine. One, two, four are eligible for allocation. Now the next criteria is sub inventory. Sub inventory is ascending now. Fine. Now Mohan should not answer. Now, out of one, two, four, what happens? How many it is now getting filtered out? Because sub inventory means ascending means what? Sub inventory order will come into picture. Now, tell me how many are now eligible for allocation? Mohan should not answer now. On the first one, what happens? It has now filtered one, two, four now. On the second sub sort, what happens? It will now filter what? It will become two. Huh? Two. two is known. The answer is not fully correct actually. Out of one, two, four, what happens? Sub inventory is ascending. So, how many transactions will not be eligible for allocation now? First and fourth, first and third. First and fourth is wrong. First and third is wrong. Oh, first and second. First and second is hundred percent correct now. <laughs> Got it now. Previously, on the lot ascending, it was one, two, and four because one lot three is the lot. Right? And on this, when you make a sub sort on the sub inventory, what happens? This is number one now, and so one and two becomes eligible for allocation. Are you clear on this now? 
Anybody See, but uh, sub inventory two also we have, right? Uh, sub inventory two is okay. not two. But what happens? Sub inventory ascending is what number one. It will not choose. Sub inventory one is number one order. Sub inventory two is number two order. So out of one to four, it gets filtered to one and two. Is it clear? Because what happens? Sub inventory one order. Okay. Now next is what. Locator is ascending. Now what happens? We got only two things transactions there. In the locator ascending. Which one? It will not choose now. One. One is hundred percent correct. Who is this? Vijay. Vijay. Very good. Fantastic. Fine. So Vijay has now correctly told that only one is now eligible for location. So if you have three such criteria, what happens? The first option is one now. And if one is not satisfied, then only it will. It will be going to the next one actually. And the locator ascending, what happens? It will not go there. If one is not having sufficient material, then what happens? The locator it will not go to the second order. If two is also not sufficient, then what happens? The sub inventory it will not go for the next one. And there also is not sufficient. The lot number what happens? It will not go to the next one. So likewise, it will not go. Are you able to understand the sort, sub sort, sub sort? I will again repeat now. The lot ascending, what happens? Since it is ascending number, what happens? One not three is the first number. So what happens? One three four will come in the top actually. The one not four will come in the bottom of it. So the first three will be coming in the top, and then we are having a sub sort of ascending of sub inventory. Then what happens out of which the one and two will be coming at the top. Then fourth will be the next one, and then the third will be the next one. It will be one, two, four, and three. And then since locator is also ascending, what happens? The one this is the one which is going to occupy the top slot, and then if it has got material, it will not get allocated. And since we have sufficient material of hundred, what happens? It gets allocated. I know that. So it is able to allocate. If it is not having allocation, what happens? It will not go on and allocate the next locator also. It will not take up the material from the next locator also. It's a very tough topic. Fine, please. Anybody has got any uh, confusion? What happens? Get it clarified because this is uh, going to be the picking process of a company. Actually, remember, company is picking of what happens? Finished goods for the uh, for the customers actually. Clear. Very good. Fine. Fantastic. So two to two has got sufficient quantity. What happens? Sixty is allocated. The pick is open now. Fine. It is not at transacted actually. Fine. It is not a confirm. Fine. In EBIS, what happens? We call this as what transaction. Fine. If you go there, EBIS, what they do is if you go there, go to the EBIS now. In the EBIS, we call them as a transact models. Whereas in fusion, it is known as a confirm pick center. Both for order manual, what happens? The terminology has been made same actually. So we are not going to confirm picks now. We will not see the reservation which is not made. Fine. Sixty quantities are no result. Fine. Go there. We will not go there. How about the reservation? Actually. Go there. So it is not done. And go there. Let me open up one more tab region and then have a look at the reservation. You go there and then we'll now open up the reservation. Then click on the home icon and then click on it and then here what happens? We're going to have a look at it. So you go to the warehouse operations and then go to the inventory and then here what happens? We are now going to have a look at the reservations now. So click on it and then here what happens? You go there. You go to what happens? Manage reservations and picks. You go to the manage reservations. Manage the reservations and picks. We are going to see the reservation. Item is what? You put the item over here now. Fine. MR and then give a tap. I'm putting the item over here now. And click on search now. Item has to come now. Once the item comes, what happens? Go there. So it's not showing. There is a reservation in the organization P01. Expand it. And then expand it. And then expand it. And then, expand it. And then here, what happens? You can also see the reservation. <coughs> this is a reservation which has been made now. This now. Fine. So 60 quantities have been reserved by this movement request number. Fine. P01-1. Fine. This is the request. So if you go to the picks, what happens? It will not show you the items. Go there. It will not show you this. So if you click on the view lot and serial numbers, it will not show you which lot has been allocated. Here itself, it is not showing you. You can also go and see this. So this is the pick which has been made. The pick is open and then it is not yet confirmed actually. Clear on this now? Fine. The reservation picks is also showing. Now let us go and then confirm the picks. Go there. I will now open up one more tab region and then let me confirm the picks. Now I go to the E and then have a look at it. Now you can now confirm the picks. So you go to this place again, same. And then go to the warehouse operations. You click on the warehouse operations, and then you go to the inventory now. Go to the inventory, and then here, what happens? Go there. In this place, what happens? I go to the picks now. Pick slips. So on the pick slips, on the main area itself, what happens? It says one pick is available over here. Otherwise, what happens? We have to query the pick actually. We have we have to calculate the pick. It is now available here as a pick. So for P zero one iPhone one. Otherwise, you click on the task carousel, and then here, what happens? You go to the confirm pick slips now. We are going to confirm it, which is nothing but a transaction. I click on the confirm pick slips, and then here what happens? We are going to make a transaction. I will not query on the item. The item is what? It's P zero one M R. So anyway, we can do it whichever way you want. You can do it. I can do that. When you give a tap, item will be coming. If I click on search, it will not show you the eleven thousand and all. The main page itself will show. Now click.
click on this pick slip and then what happens i am going to perform a confirmation now inventory in charge has got the what happens the facility to modify anything the system is allocated dynamic 2 to 2 and then the lock but if the inventory in charge is what what happens you know make a change you know go there you know make a change and so on and the locator you know make a change and the lot also what happens you can make a change fine it is up to him obviously now i will not say 60 i am not going to have 60 um fine go there now i am going to confirm the picks now fine go there i am going to confirm the picks now i am not doing it properly fine please watch <laughs> i'm not doing it properly if i do the confirmation it will not get confirmed at all it drop it sir, down and then click on sir i have a doubt sir yeah tell me sir pick the quantity is it possible to amend here sir no we cannot amend it we only have to cancel this what happens allocation and then what happens i make a fresh cancel okay so here i could not change sir, uh, it, right? out of 60 yeah. what happens we can even uh, transact only 40 But uh, oh, fine, are, this quantity cannot be amended here now. Fine, over. No fine, sir. Fine. It has to be cancelled. The reservation has to be cancelled and then make a fresh. What happens? You have to run a concurrent and again make a release. Fine, sir. Fine. Now, here I am making a mistake now. Fine. If I go and then drop it down, confirm and close. What happens? It will not get confirmed at all. It will. Even though I put a quantity of sixty, what happens? Tell me what is the mistake I am making? Confirm, confirm. What happens? It will not get confirmed. Click on it. What happens? What do I have to do? Anybody can see the screen and then tell me. Fine, go there. I know. Sir, uh, 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 check box, sir. Click uh, ready check to box, sir. Exactly, exactly. I have to go and then select it now. Fine, go there. Select ready to confirmation. Fine. You put tick mark. So once you put tick mark, all the lines will be selected. So the selection was not done. Very good. Fine. Beautiful. You identified it. So only when you select it, what happens? It will get confirmed. Fine. Click on confirm now. Why which what happens? It will not get confirmed. The line will vanish actually. Fine. The line is vanished. Fine. Go there. So you can now say confirm and close. So on the main line also, what happens? You will not be having anything at all. So it's not done. So if you go on the query on this, what happens? There is no pick slips to be confirmed actually. Everything is not done. Now we'll now go on and have a look at the stock now. Fine, go there. We'll now have a look at the stock. <clears throat> Fine, check on it. And then here, what happens? You go to the warehouse operations. You go to the warehouse operations. And then here, what happens? You go there, go to the inventory. And then the main page is item quantities. When you go to the inventory, the main landing page is manage item quantities. Here, long go there and see this now. P zero one MR, and then give a tap, and then click on search now. So we have got four transactions, and then what happens? The fifth transaction is not taking place now. Fine, click on plus now. It will show only four hundred now. Fine, expand it. You will not see where and all the material is there. Expand it, expand it, and then you can now see the Diana is there. Diana, Diana is there. Sub one is also having sixty. And if you expand it, it will not show you that what happens. Your lot now. Fine. There are two lots of that. Fine, you go there. Here, what happens? It will not show you. The thirty-three lot fine over there. So on two forty is there, thirty-two hundred is there, thirty-three hundred is there, and then what happens? Forty-four hundred is there. In this sub inventory, we have sixty, and then you can expand it to not show you that. What happens? The lot number also. And if it has got a serial number, you can even expand further and then see this is not having a serial number. Clear on this now. Fine. First transaction is completed, and then we have now done the allocation. Now what I am going to do? I am going to make this as what instead of ascending, I am going to make it as a descending. The picking rule, I am going to modify it now as a descending. And let me modify the picking rule. Fine. You know, see what how I'm modifying it. Fine, go there. So I'm now going to modify the picking rule. Fine, go there. So let me modify the picking rule now. Fine, go there. So click on the search now. <clears throat> the picking rule. Fine, go there. I'm going to modify it now. So click on the manage assignments. Here, what happens? I'm going to modify it. If I go and then try to modify it, it cannot modify at all. That what happens? It is not editable actually. And then the active tick mark is not coming at all. Fine. Why? Can anybody tell me how to edit it now? Fine. I want to make what the locator is descending now. The locator is descending. That is what I want to know. Fine, go there. The locator instead of ascending, I want to make a change to descending now. Fine. It is not happening now. In this place, what happens? It's not allowing you to make a change because what happens? It's not editable. So just like in EMS, mm -hmm. what you have to do is you have to remove all the assignments. Fine. You choose it, and then you go to the manage assignments, and then remove all the assignments. Fine. You go and then edit, and then remove the assignments. Fine. Just like in EMS, what happens? You are removing the activeness of the assignment. Fine. Click on save and close. It's not done. Now what happens? You come out done. Now what happens? We can very well edit. Fine, go there and then click on edit. Now you go to the edit. Now what happens? Active can be removed. Only when you remove it, what happens? It is editable now. And go there. Here what happens? I am going to make it as what locator. What happens? The descending. I am going to make it now. I am now making the locator descending. And then click on save and close. Now. No, wait a second. I have to make it as active also. Go there. Only when I make it active, what happens? It will become eligible for assignments actually. And go there. I will now make it as active. So once when you make the active, the editing is gone. Fine, click on save and close. Now what happens? I will now introduce the assignment. It's a very tricky one. What happens? You do it very properly. Click on manage assignments and then here what happens? You go there and then edit it and then what happens? You make it active and then save and close. Now it is what it is ascending, ascending and descending. Tell me which 
transaction will be allocated for these three combinations. One, two, three, four. Which transaction will be allowed? Will be allocated? Anybody? Second. Two. Number two Second. is hundred percent correct. Number two is hundred percent correct. You, know, you can see whatever number two will be allocated. Now, right? Because of this one, you can just see this now. Anybody has got any doubt? You can ask me. Ascending, ascending, descending will now allocate the second transaction actually. Right? So twenty two twenty two will be allocated. So let us go there and then run it now. Fine, go there. We will now see this now. So let us now run it actually. Fine. <coughs> you go there. And then let me create another moment request now. Fine, go there. So click on plus and then let us now create the second moment request. <coughs> So it's P01 underscore 2 now. I'll go there. So here uh, I will now go there. And the transaction type is transfer. The destination sub inventory is sub 1. I'll now put it on now here. Sub 1. I'm putting it on there. I'll now go on there. Create now. Click on plus now. And then it's P01 MR. Give it a So requested quantity is again 60. I'm 60 is the requested quantity. If I go there. And then click on another sub inventory. Can get 50, sir? Huh? Can I give it as 50 so that we can differentiate. Okay, okay, fine, okay. I know I have made one platform here okay, uh, because what happens? I have to go to the next one now. There. Okay, okay. <laughs> you do this now, fine. Who is this? Vijay, Vijay, sir. Vijay, Vijay, okay, fine. You do it, fine. Okay. I'm now doing as per the plan now because it is getting shifted. Means, uh, so click on something now. You do all the exercises, fine. Lab exercises are all yours now, fine. P012, fine. Go there. Now let us run the moment request now, fine. Go there. This place. What happens? Click on submit menu process. And then here, click on OK. And then P012 is a one. Let me release it now. So organization is what? P011, and then give it a tap. And then it is a P01, and then give it a tap. We will now choose the two now. And go the two. I'm going to choose the two. Click on it now. And, go there. Go down. and then in this place, what happens? You go down. And then here, I'm not going to make what? Release is what? Yes. So release uh, approved lines is what is. And then click on submit now. It will be having everything done now. Okay, okay now. It's not running. Now you go to the pick slips, then straight away, then what happens? We will not transact it. And you can now see this result over here now. Fine. 22, 22, 22 would have been allocated on this on the Dana 1. Dana 1, 22, of lot 103. Fine. Go there and see it. So then what happens? We'll be getting it once when you go into the. Have a look at it. Fine. Go there. Let it complete now. Fine. So once it is completed, what happens? You go to the pick slips. What happens? You can now see the pick slip ready. And if you open it up and go there, you go to the pick slips, what happens? You know that. And if you go and then refresh it, I can go to refresh it here and you now go there some other place and then come out. 11005 is already completed now. Go there. If you go to the pick slips, I think the next pick slip will be coming. Out. Go there. So it's again 11006 is the one. Fine. Click on it now. Fine. Open it up and then have a look at it. So you can now hear itself. You can see it directly. You can see it. So it is what? Data 1, 2022, and then lot 103. So let me select it and then what happens? Let me transact it also. Now we are going to come to the tough part. Fine. Okay, fine. We'll now confirm it. I click on confirm request. So one more 60 quantities is not done. You must enter the pick quantity. We are not entering. Quantity okay. 60 are not entered. Don't go there. I will not go there. 60 I'm entering it now. Can go there. Click on confirm and close. By which what happens? It gets confirmed. It's not done. The line is lost. No, can go there. If you go to the manage item quantities and then make a search of it. No, fine. Here previously what happens? Uh, in the sub inventory we have only 60 now. Fine, go there. And then if you go on the research, go there. Click on research. Fine. Click on search again. And then here what happens? You can also see. Fine. Here, what happens is having 120. Here, it is having 60. Now, it is having 123. Fine, this is not complete. Now, we go for the third exercise. Now. In the third exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enforce full lot. I'm going to enforce the full lot. I know that. But it is the same thing ascending, ascending, descending only, but I'm enforcing the full lot. Fine. Don't see the answers here now. There's an answer here now. Please, without seeing the answer, you have to tell me now. Fine. There is an answer written here now. But don't see this answer. <laughs> and then if you're able to give the answer for this, for the enforceful lot, you're having an excellent concept of picking up. Right? Let us now go on and do it now. Fine. In the meantime, whatever, let me go on and do it. I will now go on and modify this now. Fine. Go there. I will now go to this place. And then all of the picking rule assignments, what happens? We go there and then disable it now. Fine. Go there. So here, I will now inactivate it. And then click on save and close. And click on done now. And then we'll now go to the, what happens? The P01 pick. And then click on what I did now. And then here, what happens? I'm going to enforce the full lot, remove the activeness, then only what happens? You can edit now, fine. So it is only ascending, ascending, descending, but enforcing single lot. One lot has to be enforced. Fine. I'm enforcing a single lot. Fine, click on save and close. If you are answering it, it's excellent. Fine, click on save and close. Without seeing it, you had answer now. Fine, tell me how it will lock. That means what? Ascending, ascending, descending has got an order of what? First, what happens? The first one is what? Two is the first one. What is what is fine, and then afterwards something is something is coming. Now. 
But I have to give only one lot more. Now tell me how it will not be. Anybody? I have yes. to give only one lot. I cannot give one lot three as well as one lot four to the customer because what happens? This may be a normal monitor. This may be an anti glare monitor. If you give 80 quantities or 40 quantities of this and then another 20 quantities of this, lot, what happens? The customer will be unhappy. Are you, why don't you give all of them as anti glare monitor? Or that is why what happens to give him, what happens? We will not give only one lot actually. So in some companies, what happens? Enforcing the lot is a very important. Now, how it will not do it? Anybody? The system will uh, pick item only from a single lot. It will yes, not exactly. Pick. Yes, it is going to pick up item only from a single lot. And then I am going to go for 90 quantities now. 90 quantities is available on 103 as well as 104 also. 104 is having 100. 103 here, we have a 40 here, we have a 40 here, and then we have a 100 here. Fine. So now tell me which lot it will not pick up. It is not going to give only from one lot now. Fine. Both the lots are having sufficient quantity of 90 quantities now. Sir it, will, sir, it will take from the double four, double four, double four. No, no, I don't. I, I am first of all telling you which lot it will lock in. One not three or one not four. Sir, one not three. One not three. Why? The reason is that sir, lot is ascending. ascending. Lot is ascending. Remember, fine. First of all, lot is ascending. So, lot is ascending means what? It has to pick up only one not three first. If one not three is not available, then only it has to go to one not four now. Fine. So that itself, what happens? One not four is coming to the bottom actually. So 103 is going to allocate. Now tell me uh, which which uh, lots will be allocated for this. So then it will take a dynamic. Uh, since last Dyna 1, Dyna 2 are the two subliminaries. And then what happens? Uh, because, you know, the, everybody's voice is breaking. I'm unable to understand who is speaking. Uh, number four. Your internet speeds are good actually. Fine. If your internet speeds are not good, what happens? I cannot understand uh, what you are saying actually. Fine. Your voice is breaking. Who is speaking actually there? Voice is totally breaking it. Okay. Anybody else apart from uh, Ashwini? Can you make a try? How the quantities will be allocated? Again, on the same fashion now. Ascending, ascending, descending is the order on which what happens will be done now. So what it will do is it will now pick up the 40 quantities of this now and then 40 quantities of this and then what happens if you go and then see this now fine go there 40 of 2 to 2 40 of 22 to 2 and then what happens the remaining 10 will be taken from here or the 44. Oh God his voice is not at all clear. Please see to me that what happens your internet connections are having a good bandwidth otherwise what happens you cannot speak to me at all. So for a 90 quantity, what happens? It will not pick up 40 of this and then 40 of this and then 10 from this. Because it is now coming to the second second second. So second second is now the, is the bottom most of this. So let us now see this now. Fine. The, th the third pick, I'm going to make it now. With the enforcement of the lot. Enforcement of the lot is already done now. Fine. So we already enforced it now. Fine. Go there. If you go on and edit it, it is already enforced now. Fine. Go there and have a look. It is already enforced. I now have to make it active also. Let us now make the rule active. So you go there and then make the rule as an enforced single lot is now made. I will now make it as active and then click on save and close now. Enforce single lot is not done. Fine, go there. It is not done. <clears throat> and then you go to the manage assignments and then enable it also. And go there and then edit and then enable it. Click on it. So we had enabled this also. Make it as active and then what happens? Save and close now. Remember in the real industry, what happens? You'll not be modifying all these things now and then now. Only for testing, we're doing it now. So you'll have only one philosophy of picking, and then that will all be saved there. And then you will not normally modify it. So the picking philosophy, everything will be set on the picking rules on the assignments. And then normally you won't come over here and then do any changes. Now. Only for testing, we are not doing all these things. Now. In reality, we will never come over here at all. You test it, you set it once and then do it. You go to the manage movement request and pick it the third movement request. Fine, go there. You're not going to pick for 90 quantities now. Fine, go there. It is P01 underscore. What happens? I will not say the third one now. Fine, go there. And then click on it. I will now make it the more transfer now. Fine, go there. Click on it. And then I will now give the destination sub unit. Drop it down. <clears throat> and then I will now go forward sub one now. And then click on it. And then here, what happens? It goes a plus now. Click on plus now. And then here, item is what? P01 MR. And then give it a tap. It will be 90 quantities. 90 quantities of one. I'm doing it now. Fine, go there. And then what happens? You go there and then give us submit. P013 is now submitted. And then let me do the release now. Fine, now submitted. So if you go and see what happens, it will be available. Now fine, click on search now. If you go on, it will show all the three P's. Fine, go there. It is also pre approved. Now. 
Now we go there and then what happens? We go to the monitoring area. We can go there. Click on this now. <clears throat> we go there and then here we'll now submit the request again. For the third one, I'm submitting and I can go there. Click on OK. <clears throat> and then it's uh, P01. One. P011. And then it's uh, P01. The third one, I would choose the movement request. If you leave it blank, it is not working. I don't know why it's so. It needs value actually. These are all Baker apps. Right? I tried it with a blank one. It is not picking up at all. Right? I don't understand. So they have to modify all these things. Right? If you leave it blank, whatever is open, it has to take it up. No, it is not doing it now. I go there. It is working, I think, sir. <laughs> no, it's not working. I tried with a blank. It is not working. Yeah, I'm facing an issue in the office. They have run without movement request. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They uh -huh. create everything now. <laughs> huh? Yes, it is working actually. Oh, now, oh, oh. In my company, they have run it without number and they. Oh, oh. Who is this? Created a movement request. Titi here. Titi, okay, fine. Uh, in which release you're working? You're releasing on release 12, 30. 12. Release 12. Release 12 itself, very fantastic. That means what some I can, I, I can send you a screenshot once. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. If you say that's more than sufficient, I'm fine. Zing is working. But for me, it was not working. Uh, and so what happened? There may be some bug because this is not applied. The patch is not applied in this mission at all. Is it because it's already surrounded instance and so what happened? No patches applied. So they might have applied the patch. Fine. Very good. TT is saying that even if the movement request is absent, it's working actually. Fine. Very good. Fine. And take it for granted for him now. Fine. Go there. Click on submit now. So I have not done this now. Fine. Go there. So in this place, what happens? They go down. And then here, what happens? Release uh, approved lines is no yes now. Fine. Go there. And then click on submit now. <clears throat> Because I tested it, it's not working. Okay, that's bit. Maybe some errors here and there. I'm not sure about it. Now, if you go and then see the output, there will be three pick releases which are selected. Now. Fine. Th three pick slips. Go and then see this now. So it will be having three pick slips now. It will not go to the completed. Completed to succeed is only for notification. Now. Fine. Completed means what activity is completed actually. Fine. That's what it is. So go there and then have a look at it. You'll we'll be having three pick slips of this. Since we are enforcing the lot now, click on republish. Since we are enforcing the lot, what happens? We'll be having three pick slips now. I click on republish now. Come on, it's not working because what happens? Some other form is already open actually here. The previous form is open actually. So, because of which, what happens? It's not working actually here. We go there. This one was open now. But let me close it now. Then only it will work. Now. I'll close the tabs. Then, if you click on republish, what happens? It will work. And then click on it now. And go there. I go to export and then go to the export as a PDF now. And then click on save now. Now you can see there are three lines which are recommended by the system. Go down. And then you can now see. Hey, come on. What happened? Yeah, it's not so. Then go there. So we can now see there are three lines of that. So one is what 40 from 2 to 2. And then one is 40 from 22, 22, 22, and then another 10 from what? 44, 44, 44, all of the same lots. And go there. It is not done. Fine. Let us now go there and then do the what happens? The transaction of the pick close. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then let me close it now. So let us now go and then transact it now. Go there. So it is a place. Fine. Go there. Let us now go to the pick slip area now. Fine. Go there. Manage reservations. Go to the pick slips now. Fine. Go there. So if you go to some other tab region and then come back, what happened? The pick slip will be coming. I'll now go to the inverted tab region. And then again come to the pick slips now. Fine. Go there. If you come to the pick slips, what happened now? Fine. The pick slips. And then click on it. And then let me select all. <clears throat> if you go there, I will now select all. Now. Click on it now. So select all. What happens by which? What happens? All the three will be selected. If you put a tick mark on this, not happen. All three will be selected now. Fine. Select all. You put tick mark on this, all the things will be. I will now say 10 over here now. <clears throat> I will not go for 40. I will not go for 40. I go there. So it is not taken all this. Fine. One not three is not taken. I go there. So click on what happens. I'm going to confirm it now. So the last exercise for the day is coming now. I go there. I will not slightly deviate from this one. I go there. So I will not keep the same ascending and ascending and descending. And then if you make another uh, what happens here, movement request for 101 quantities, tell me which one will be allocated. Now you see on. This thing, what happens? We don't have any stock at all. All of them are gone now. Fine. Here also, what happens? All of them are gone now. On the 103, what happens? 10 has gone, 90 is left now. So on 104, we have 100 now. On 104, 100, and then 103, 90 is there now. If I create a movement request for 101, what will happen? Anybody? It is enforced. It should not create uh, what is that? the fixed slip. It should not create the fixed slip itself. Who is this? 
Mohan Kumar. Mohan Kumar is hundred percent correct now. No pick slip will be created because you are enforcing the lot, and then we don't have a quantity at all. Because for the customer, what happens on a particular lot only we have to send. That is what the criteria is. So here we have what happens on one not four we have hundred quantities on one not three we have ninety quantities. If we create a movement request for one not one, what happens? It will be push. Clear on this now, fine. Anybody has got any doubts on this now? If we create a movement request for one not one, what happens? For the same conditionality, it is going to fail actually. Anybody has got any doubts on this now? It is enforcing the lot. I will again repeat. What happens on one not three? What happens? We have what happens? We are already the forty has also gone. This is also gone exhausted. And then what happens? We are not taken another ten from this hundred. So we have on one not three ninety is left now. On one not four we have hundred left. And then if the movement request is for one not one, no single lot is matching that requirement. But if you remove the enforced lot, what happens? It will now pick up here and there. Since it is enforced, what happens? They will not see this now. Go there. We are going to make it a stop it. It's a very very important one. And then what happens? You have to understand about how this movement request is working now. It's a very complicated subject. What happens? You please try to understand this very clearly. Thank you, Mantas. Now, and then here, what happens? I'm going to make another one. Fine, go there. It's the fourth one. I'm making P zero one underscore four now. Fine, go there. And then here, what happens? I will now make it as a transfer now. The destination sub unit. I'm putting it now. Fine, go there. I will now put sub one. And then click on plus. And then let me put the item over here now. Fine, go there. It's what? It's a P zero one MR. And then give it a tap now. <clears throat> and then one not one is the quantity. The deviation from the pair sheet actually. Fine, go there. Just show you. But how it's working now? I go there. So one not one is the one. I click on submit now. Fine. By the way, or I mean the fourth one is now submitted for approval now. Let us now check TT now. Fine. I will now just like that. We will now see what happens. If what happens is it not working or not? I go there. Click on the monitor process. And then here what happens? I go there. I will now make a blank and then search. I go there. Click on OK now. I will not put any from one at all. <sighs> Organization. I am putting it now. Fine. Go there. P zero one one. And then you would have. I am not filling any from one motor request file. Fine, as per the TT zone. Fine, go there. No, see if that works or not. Fine, go there. And then let me release it. Fine, go there. Release approved lines is yes. Now, fine, go there. And then I am going to release it now. <clears throat> so click on submit. Now it has to fail. It should not show anything at all. Fine, click on submit now. It has to show fail. <laughs> click on OK. And then we are not doing it now. Fine, go there. One zero three three two two is now running. It should not give me any outputs at all. It's not pick at all. So the What happens? The allocation process has to fail because we are enforcing it, and then we are not having sufficient quantity on either of the lots. Now, basically, click on it now, and then go down and then have a look at it now. So, click on republish now, and go there, and then click on it, and then here go there, export the PDF. If it works, it's fine now. So, you need to populate your numbers actually. Fine. That is the irritating one actually, putting the numbers over there. Now. Click on it now and then go down. And then here, what happens? It's not showing like this now for me. See, it is not showing me P zero one now. It's not showing P zero one as a page now. And go there. It is a six page one now. It is all six page one. In the first page P zero one is not shown. One is not shown. Find page down. Next is what again the same thing. And go there. And next what P zero one iPhone two is not showing here. And go there. And the next is what P zero one iPhone three is not showing now. And go there. P zero one four is also shown. Okay, and when you leave it blank, what happens? It's not showing everything actually. That is what it is. Now you see unallocated movement request. It is not allocated at all because what happens? The enforced lot is not having sufficient quantity on both one not three as well as one not four. Is it all clear? Anybody has got any doubts? So when you leave the move from movement request blank, what happens? There's no printing all the movement request which has already been done. Now, and if you go up and see what happens, it is now complete the picks. It says the pick is now complete. So that it is not showing you each and everything. And three also what happens? Not showing you everything. Go the page up, and then two is also completed picks. And then what happens? Whatever is completed the picks also is not showing. And that is too much of a report basically. And six page report actually. And if you give the report, only that only will not show there. So at this stage, I will not stop. No, and then we will not go further. Fine. As and when we go further, further, what happens? It will be even more complex for me. Southdown. <clears throat> clear, Vijay. Sandeep, it's clear. Yes, sir. Clear. Very good. Very good. Thank you, sir. Clear, sir. Thank you, sir. Want to know? Now what happens? You have to do a lot of testing also. Not every combination is tested actually. Only certain combinations are tested. I am not telling, teaching you about how to test a combination. Basically, 
That's all it means. Not that each and everything is tested here. Good. Uh, one question, sir. Here. Yeah. Yeah, if you have done using a wrong rule, now we want to go back and correct it. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, how do we do that? Yeah, 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 it's a good question now. Fine. <laughs> it's a good question. So tomorrow, as the first exercise, what happens, we'll not do about how to correct it, actually. Okay. Yeah. How to correct it. We'll not see this. <clears throat> As a first exercise, we'll not do that. Good. Titi is also an excellent guy. Here, what happens? That Titi is now working already on this system. Fine. How do you find Titi now? Fine. You are now fine. More yeah, I am more comfortable. Um, basically, I am not like uh, <clears throat> I am not implementer. I am okay. like uh, I am just associating with the team of people. Very good, very good. Very good. So, but now you are able to understand things now. What how is that? Yeah, I am able to understand, getting a grip of the things and. Uh, very good. So we'll continue from after implementation. We have to take great, great, great. Fine. Titi from Kuwait. Fine. So this guy is now basically a manager sort of a role actually. But now what happens? He's on. Uh, yeah. Now he's also participating. Then what happens? I was learning it. Right? But sir, I have a doubt, sir. Tell me, yeah. So in that Excel, we provided that uh, sequence, sir. Yeah. First lot, second uh, located, yeah. and so the uh, uh, Oracle derived rule, or we can uh, it is a, change. It's a suggested rule by Oracle now. Fine. First, what happens? Uh, uh, revision, then lot, then sub inventory and locator. Fine. That is the way. What happens? They have recommended it. But what happens? You can override. It is not that a strict rule that what happens. You have to follow that. Follow that philosophy of what happens. Uh, the sorting criteria. But it is a uh, middle management sort recommends revision, lot, sub inventory and locator. That is not. <clears throat> In the case, it is a seeded uh, recommended. Correct? It's not a seeded one. It is a recommended one. Fine. There, if you go on and see what happens, you have to choose which is your first one. The revision or a lot of the sub inventory, which one you want to choose, you have to choose. It is not a seeded one. So it is a recommended one, actually. That's fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Good. See you tomorrow, sir. See you tomorrow. Okay, fine. Go there. So as and when the things goes up, what happens, it will be very tough, actually. Fine. Please download all the records up to 15. I'm going to delete tomorrow. Fine. Go there. Tomorrow evening. Uh, there is another 24 hours, what happens? I'll be deleting with it because I'm not falling short of space actually. Uh, um, just one more thing, sir. This uh, fourth file, fourth day file, third day file, when we are trying to download, it is asking for permission. I try to uh, click here and there, it is still coming. I'm not able to do that. Rest everything I downloaded. It's also saying the same thing. The third and fourth yeah. day. How come uh, anybody? Yes, has, sir. Sindil, have you downloaded everything? Yes, sir. I downloaded, sir. Sir, after uh, second time, you send one more file, sir. So where I find that download button itself, sir. In that file itself, I okay, find I download it, sir. One, two, three, four. I will now send it again. Fine. Yeah, sir. That will be helpful. Thank you, sir. I will again send it to you. Fine. Just have a look at it. One, two, three, four. I will again send it to all of you now. Fine. Uh, since your people are having some problem, whatever, I will now send all of you. Fine. Again, please download within 24 hours time. Fine. Okay, we'll do it. And Chandra is also having the same problem. One, two, three, four. I don't know, one, two, three, four, how is causing a problem? I couldn't understand how I'll know, said it. Good then, right? Well, not me too much.